insurance policies the last 200 plus years. Almost everything in this country has changed drastically in the last 200 years with insurance being the exception. In that time frame, we have went from the horse and buggy to automobiles, to trains and planes, to rocket ships, which travel many times the speed of sound. In the last 200 years, we have gone from using an abacus to handheld calculators, to first generation computers, which were as big as a small building, to computers which fit on your desktop, to laptop computers as thin as your finger, to mobile phones, which can do everything and can fit in the palm of your hand. Insurance remains the same. In this day and age, we now have automobiles which can drive themselves, stop by themselves, and do other things by themselves, such as parking and avoiding collisions by themselves. And with technology yet to come, we have not even imagined. Insurance is still the same. In the last 200 plus years, there have been changes in manufacturing, including automation, robotics, and other things too numerous to mention. It highlights the progress and changes into every single area of our lives, where progress and changes are being made at lightning speed for the betterment of all of us. What happened to insurance? Of all the advancements and improvements which many generations have witnessed, there is one glaring exception. That exception is life insurance. To prove this point, Cigna Insurance is 225 years old. The Hartford is 207 years old. New York Life is 170 years old. MetLife is 148 years old. Mutual of Omaha is a newcomer. They're only 107 years old. In the past 200 plus years, to collect on your life insurance policy, you had to die and leave it to someone else or live to be 100 years old to collect. This has remained basically the same. Let's talk about living to be 100 years old to collect. What are the possibilities of living to be 100 years old? The 2010 census shows there were 53,000 364 people in this country who had lived to be a hundred years or more. 82% of those were female. You can imagine how many of these hundred year old people were suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia. It appears their minds go out before their bodies do. Why has it taken over 200 years to figure out there just had to be a better solution to this problem? A solution which can allow people to enjoy some of those benefits while they are still living. Why would you have to die before any benefits could be paid? It just makes sense to be able to use some of those benefits while one is still alive and able to function. It was a problem where a solution needed to be found. The company and the life insurance product I'm going to talk to you about have solved this problem. I am sure you're going to find this very enlightening. The name of that company is AIG, American International Group, one of the largest insurers in the world, created this new insurance policy, and this policy is called 10-10-10. The more appropriate word to use for this insurance product would be assurance. You are assured if you are befallen with a chronic, critical, or terminal illness, you will get money while you are still alive to help pay your medical bills and living expenses. You are assured of retirement income when you begin taking payments for your retirement. And you are assured there will be a substantial amount of money for your family if you should pass away unexpectedly. The major difference in this plan and the insurance plans of the past, you don't have to die to have access to your death benefits. Money is paid directly to you if you have a chronic, critical, 
or terminal illness. It is an accepted fact almost all of us will go through one or more of these phases of illnesses before our death. Here is the essence of the new and innovative 10-10-10 policy I mentioned before. You pay in for only 10 years and you are paid up. You let the money set for 10 years. You can then begin to draw down funds for your retirement over the next 10 years. You will have living benefits and protection for your family from day one. This new and innovative life insurance policy solves one of the greatest drawbacks of past insurance policies, letting you, the policyholder and payer, become the beneficiary of your own insurance and collect these benefits while you are still living. I sincerely believe this has been a barrier preventing many men from buying the amount of insurance that would be needed and recommended. Though I say this in jest, it has a ring of truth. The thought of your wife's new husband living large on the benefits that you paid for and will never be able to use can be a bit unsettling. This new generation of insurance policies are structured, so this accumulation of tax-free money can be used to supplement your retirement income when you retire or receive a lump sum if you suffer a critical, chronic, or a terminal illness. You can use this money to handle your affairs the way you choose. These are benefits you can use while you are still alive, while still providing adequate protection for your wife and children. Like many things in our lives, we must put up with the old inefficient methods and inefficient programs, no matter how archaic or out of date they may be, until something new and innovative comes along. This new policy makes all the sense in the world for the person who wants to access some of the benefits they have been paying for while still living. This new and innovative policy provides for three very important things. It provides living benefits at the time your need for help is the greatest. If you have a critical, chronic, or terminal illness, it provides a retirement income. It provides insurance coverage for you and your family. All of these benefits are tax-free. For more information on this new and innovative type of insurance, contact Calvin Hill HGI Financial. We're located at 3190 Northeast Expressway, Suite 320, Atlanta, Georgia, 30341. Phone numbers 678-412-1392, 404-786-9869.